Next on PIJN News, Dr. Chaps reports on these important issues. Nebraska's Governor Pillen bans most abortions with a new pro-life state law. Ron DeSantis declares he is running for president on a pro-life platform. And Donald Trump's his help, he'll promote adoption if he is reelected president. Former Navy Chaplain Gordon James Klingenschmidt took a stand to defend religious freedom by daring to pray publicly in Jesus' name. Now he helps you by reporting the news, discerning the spirits, and praying the scriptures. Would you pray with us? Here's Dr. Chaps. God bless you in Jesus' name. My name is Chaplain Gordon James Klingenschmidt, Dr. Chaps, and you're watching PIJN News. On this show, we'd like to do three things. We report the news, we discern the spirits, and we pray the scriptures in Jesus' name. Are you ready to pray the news with us? Here's our first story. Life News reports that Nebraska Governor Jim Pillen has signed a new state law banning most abortions. Last week, he signed this bill <clears throat> to take the next step to protect babies from abortions. Last week before that, Nebraska state senators had voted 33 to 15 to protect unborn babies from abortion after 12 weeks of gestation. So not quite a heartbeat law that could be as early as six weeks, but uh, they have adopted now something called the Preborn Child Protection Act, which was actually uh, merged with another bill procedurally, which was called the Let Them Grow Act, that eliminated most abortions, including the elective kind, the surgical kind, the painful and late-term abortions in the state of Nebraska. Governor Pillen had pushed for this bill and met with various lawmakers to support it. He said he was pleased to sign the bill. Here's a quote from the governor himself, quote, <clears throat> It is an extraordinary privilege to be part of an answering prayers that have been going on for 50 years. We're standing up to protect our kids so our state and our kids have a brighter future. This bill is part of what certainly will be a historic legislative session. It's all about protecting our kids, end quote. He also said the following, explaining the nature of the bill, quote, the bill simply does two things. It is about protecting our kids and saving babies. It also bans abortions after 12 weeks. It's the first piece of legislation to save babies in Nebraska in decades, end quote. Of course, previously, the legislators were waiting for the repeal of Roe versus Wade. When the Supreme Court repealed that last year, it effectively gave power back to the states to legislate and the Nebraska senators were ready. They previously overcame a filibuster from a member of their own party. Interestingly, the, the first vote on that bill was 33-14, not 33-15. So one of them abstained. But the pro-life legislation uh, came to one Republican lawmaker, a, a guy who's supposed to be on the pro-life side, right? But instead he sold out the lives of unborn children and blocked the bill to protect children at the heartbeat level at six weeks. So then there was a compromise to get him on board because they may have needed the certain margin. Uh, Republican Senator Merv Repay had co-sponsored a six week measure to protect babies from abortion when their heartbeat can be detected. He even attended a recent pro-life rally where he stood behind pro-life leaders urging lawmakers to protect babies from abortions, but then eventually the compromise was to pass the 12 week version instead of the six week version. Uh, I, I say zero weeks, right? But I'm not a legislator anymore. <clears throat> the Bible, uh, that, our thanks to Life News for that story. The Bible says this in Proverbs 24, deliver those who are drawn toward death and hold back those who are stumbling to the slaughter. I discern the spirit of God on uh, Governor Jim Pillen or any state legislator, uh, of which I was one in the past in Colorado, uh, but they're, they're in the valley of decision. They're trying to decide, you know, they're drawing things that they think can pass, not things that are right, 
Because you ask them privately, these legislators say, oh, zero weeks, life begins at conception. But we don't have the consensus yet that it takes to pass a law in the legislature, so we're gonna make it six weeks. We're gonna make it 12 weeks. You know what, do the right thing, legislators. Even if you have to vote no on your own Republican bills sometimes, do the right thing and one day abortion will truly be outlawed. Let's pray about this, would you pray with me? <clears throat> Father, we pray you bless those who are uh, holding back the gates, right? Uh, that you are delivering the babies who are being drawn to their deaths and that you hold back those who are stumbling to the slaughter. Father, we pray you protect those, not just the innocent children, but the adults making the bad choices. Protect them from the sin and consequences of their own destruction. We pray this in Jesus' name, amen. Take a short break, when we come back, Donald Trump says he will promote adoption if he's elected president. Hi, I'm Dr. Chaps. I've been praying and teaching for years about the baptism in the Holy Spirit, how you can have the power of God right now for your prophetic or Power Gifts Ministry. This new teaching goes through not just Acts chapter two, when the disciples received the power of God from on high and began speaking in other tongues. But we also teach on the gifts of the Holy Spirit and every instance we could find in church history of the gift of tongues. This product is brand new and available to you for a suggested donation of $30. Call us at 866-ObeyGod to get yours today, or you can find it on our website, PrayInJesusName.org. Click on the online bookstore at the top of the page, PrayInJesusName.org, available for a suggested donation of $30. Or you can call us at 866-ObeyGod. Again, that's 866-O-B-E-Y-G-O-D. I'm Dr. Chaps, I have two exciting announcements. For those of you who found us maybe one day a week, did you know we're on five days a week with in-depth analysis and Christian news reporting, and we pray the news. Where else are you gonna see that? Here's the exciting news. We're now on Apple TV. We're on five days a week on this exciting new streaming platform, Apple TV. Maybe you've already found us on Roku or Amazon Fire, but Apple TV, look for PIJN News in the spirituality category. And here's my other breaking news. Did you know we're also on podcast? Well, what's a podcast? Well, you can listen to us five days a week on audio, maybe when you're working out at the gym or driving in your car, you can watch the video on your smartphone, visit iTunes and look for PIJN News. We're also on 10 on-demand platforms, visit PrayInJesusName.org to find them all. And did I mention it's absolutely free? Other people charge a fee, but ours is free. Subscribe today to PIJN News. Maybe you've enjoyed our program and you're wondering, how can we support Dr. Chaps with our tithes and offerings? We've made it so easy right now. You don't even need to go to the website. Just use your smartphone and text the word DONATE to 720-573-0305. You don't even have to get out of your chair. Just pick up your smartphone right now and text the word DONATE to 720-573-0305 and you will help us bring you these programs. God bless you in Jesus' name. Defending your religious freedom. Here is Dr. Chaps. Welcome back, I'm Dr. Chaps. Uh, you know, just a week ago, we did exclusive coverage on the announcement of Joe Biden, who announced that he is running for reelection to President of the United States. In that story, we didn't mention any of the Republican candidates, but today we're trying to give equal time and, and fair and balanced reporting here. So we're gonna cover the top two polling candidates. I know there's others, they're welcome to come on this show. We want to in interview all of you, including Joe Biden, right? We will interview any candidate for president, uh, within reason, <laughs> who just reaches out to us, we'll promote, uh, maybe not promote, but we'll interview and give you fair time. Life News reports, Donald Trump accumulated a solid pro-life record as president, and now he's saying, since he's running for re-election, in a new interview, that he will build on that record if he's elected to another term in the White House. Trump said, appearing remotely at the 
National Religious Broadcasters Convention on an interview there, that he would promote adoption as president as a means of saving babies from abortions. He explained how he would focus on incentivizing adoptions to reduce the number of abortions that are needed or chosen. And he thinks that overturning Roe puts pro-life advocates in a position to press for adoption support. Here's a video clip of the 45th president. With parents, the ability to get an army of parents assembled who might adopt children if a mom is considering having yeah. abortion or adoption, would you use the tax code? Yeah. Do you have some ideas for using the tax code and other things to create incentives to do that? Well, I think the incentive is great, and I think the concept of adoption is fantastic, and uh, it could go a long way, and it's something that I would be supportive of, very supportive of, and we'd get that done. I don't even think that would be a very difficult thing to get done. Our thanks to Real America's Voice, who I think had a booth at NRB, we did not attend this year, but great get and great quote from the president. According to Trump, he and his team have done a lot of policy thinking after the overturning of Roe, and he said, that he'd embrace the creation of an adoption core that would get parents pre-approved to adopt babies from women who are considering whether or not to have an abortion. He also believed that tax breaks could create incentives for both the birth mother and the prospective adoptive parent. In a recent interview, Trump alluded to some sort of deal he believes he could reach on abortion if elected president. While Trump offered no specifics on what the deal would be, he claimed it would appeal to everybody nationwide. And this follow-up appears to indicate he was referring to promotion of adoption. That's the news. <clears throat> Our thanks to Life News for that report and uh, Real America's Voice. But I was adopted when I was three. I am so tickled every time I hear, you know, my life was changed. I was born to a single mom who gave me up at age three. And if it wasn't for my birth mom's choice to give me up for adoption, I wouldn't be sitting here today. If it wasn't for my adoptive parents' choice to bring me into their home, I wouldn't be sitting here today. I get choked up just thanking God for great parents who make great decisions. Um, we discern the spirit of God upon President Trump as far as he agrees with God in the Bible. And if he doesn't, well, he should read John 10.10. 10. Jesus said this, the thief comes not to except to steal and to kill and to destroy. That's what Satan does. But Jesus said, I have come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Let's pray about this. Would you pray with me? Father in heaven, I do pray in Jesus' name that more babies will be adopted by loving parents, that more birth moms will make a responsible choice to have their child and give it up for adoption, and that all of this will be facilitated by the government, not not stumbling blocks or obstacles. Lord, let's make those babies' lives a priority. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, let's take a short break. When we come back, Ron DeSantis is running for president. We have some of his clips. This is PIJN News. Hello, I'm Mike Lindell, and due to your incredible support, the original My Slippers are almost completely sold out. As a special thank you, I am launching my brand new all season slippers, slides, and sandals for as low as $29.98. This is a limited time offer, so go to mypillow.com or call the number on your screen. Use your promo code, and you'll get all my new footwear for as low as $29.98. My all-season slippers are made with my exclusive four-layer design that you won't find in any other slipper. They're finished with a breathable fabric so you can wear them all year round. And my new slides and sandals are made with patented impact gel, making them ultra comfortable and extremely durable. I guarantee they'll be the most comfortable footwear you'll ever own. So go to MyPillow.com or call the number on your screen now to get your very own all season slippers, slides and sandals for as low as $29.98 with your promo code. This is an introductory offer and it won't last long, so order now. You're still looking good. I'm still feeling good. You know, I've got all your MyPillow products. Mattress topper, bed sheets, MyPillows, towels, slippers, blankets, sleepwear, dog Whoa, whoa, Charles. Everyone now can get MyPillow products at huge discounts at MyPillow.com. 
That's right. Now's the time to go to MyPillow.com or call the number on your screen. Use your promo code to take advantage of our three-in-one sale. We're bringing you exciting new products, overstock specials, and closeout deals you won't find anywhere else. For example, when you buy one of our brand new MyPillow 2.0s, you get another one absolutely free. And with our overstock sale, you save 50% on our luxurious Giza Dream bed sheets. That's as low as $29.99 for the best sheets ever. And with our biggest closeout special, you get our all-season slippers for only $35 or our sandals and slides for just $25. Quantities are limited and once they're gone, they're gone. He is the intersection of church and state. Here is Dr. Chaps. All right, continuing our fair and balanced coverage, the second polling candidate behind Trump who has a great lead is Ron DeSantis, who is now officially declared he is running for president of the United States. LifeNews.com has this analysis. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis made it official, filing the legal paperwork necessary to run for the Republican nomination for president of the United States. The FEC filing comes ahead of his highly anticipated presidential announcement at 6 p.m. last Wednesday. He started out on Twitter spaces, co-appearing with CEO Elon Musk. Here is the Twitter clip, about a minute and 15, of Ron DeSantis making it. Our border is a disaster. Crime infests our cities. The federal government makes it harder for families to make ends meet, and the president flounders. But decline is a choice. Success is attainable, and freedom is worth fighting for. Riding the ship requires restoring sanity to our society, normalcy to our communities, and integrity to our institutions. Truth must be our foundation, and common sense can no longer be an uncommon virtue. In Florida, we prove that it can be done. We chose facts over fear, education over indoctrination, law and order over rioting and disorder. We held the line when freedom hung in the balance. We showed that we can and must revitalize America. We need the courage to lead and the strength to win. I'm Ron DeSantis, and I'm running for president to lead our great American comeback. Governor DeSantis has been traveling to early primary states all the normal ones, right? Uh, Iowa, New Hampshire, South Carolina, Nevada, those are the, usually the first four. Touting his new book, The Courage to Be Free, and pitching his Florida Blueprint model, DeSantis has already secured key nominations and endorsement from other state legislators in Iowa, New Hampshire, and even Florida, as well as top Republicans in the U.S. Congress. DeSantis is starting to get some Endorsements, including Representative Chip Roy of Texas, Thomas Massey of Kentucky, Bob Good of Virginia. On a private phone call last week held by Never Back Down, political action committee tasked with drafting DeSantis into the race, DeSantis indicated that he is the only Republican contender who can win the GOP primary and beat President Joe Biden in a general election. DeSantis said the following, quote, you basically have three people at this point who are credible in this whole thing, Biden, Trump, and me. And I think two of those three, two of those three, two have a chance to get elected president, Biden and me, based on all the data in the swing states, which is not great for the former president, Trump, and probably insurmountable, because people aren't going to change their view of him, end quote. Speaking at the NRB convention, National Religious Broadcasters in Orlando, Florida, DeSantis said the following. Let's roll a clip. One of the things I'm most proud of is that the state of Florida stands unequivocally in defense of the family and in defense of our children. And we have done more to protect children than any state in the country. Of course, uh, just a short, a uh, few weeks ago, uh, I was fortunate enough to sign the heartbeat bill, which is the strongest pro-life bill Florida's seen in its modern history. We got it done.
And let's not and let's be very clear on this, that when we are acting to protect an unborn child that has a detectable heartbeat, that is humane. That is not harsh. It is the right thing to do. But we also understand that being pro-life means being pro-life once the baby is born. And so we have provided unprecedented support in the state of Florida for mothers. We've expanded medical coverage for low-income mothers to one full year of postpartum health care coverage. We increased, we increased by $25 million our pregnancy support services program to meet physical and emotional needs of would-be mothers. And that's whether they decide to keep the child or put it up for adoption. We want to be supportive um, in either of those instances. So that's the news. Our thanks to NRB for releasing that video. And let's take a moment and discern the spirits. Let's, uh, let's imagine three other presidential candidates. Uh, Peter, Paul, and John, okay. It's, it's Joe Biden, right? It's Ron DeSantis and it's Donald Trump. So, so I'm not talking about those three guys, but Peter, Paul, and John, three saints, right? Or so they perceive themselves, decide that they're going to run for president. How do you decide which ones are listening to God and which ones are listening to the devil? Well, if presidential candidate Peter comes forward and says, I promote child killing and homosexual rights and um, everything that the Bible is against, I'm for. But everything the Bible is for, I'm against. Do you think he's listening to Jesus Christ? Do you think my Lord and Savior is talking and influencing him or is Satan influencing him? I'm not gonna vote for Peter. Paul says, well, you know, I'm a little wishy-washy. Uh, sometimes I'm for Jesus, sometimes I'm for Satan. Um, you know, sometimes I'm pro-life, and sometimes, oh, it's just not convenient. It's just not politically expedient. I might lose my election if I side with Jesus too much, so I'll have a little bit of Satan with my Jesus. I'm not gonna vote for him. And here's John, the third candidate, right? I'm for Jesus all the way. What the Bible says is God's word. God forbids, I oppose. What God loves, I love. That's my guy, why? Because I'm discerning the spirit of God actually not just talking to him, God talks to everybody, but leading him because he's willing to follow. That's how I choose to vote. We want all candidates, large or small, uh, local race, national race, we want you to be encouraged. Christians need to run for office. The Bible says in Joshua 1, have I not commanded you, says the Lord, be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid, do not be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Let's pray for all our candidates who are running. Father in heaven, we pray in Jesus' name uh, that you are the King of Kings, that you are already elected, Lord. We don't need to, uh, get you elected, we need to obey you. And that's the first litmus test in my mind, Lord. When I look at a candidate, does he know Christ? In a sense that he's willing to submit to Christ as Lord. And, and Lord, if, if you are my Lord, then my vote is dependent on whether that candidate I'm gonna vote for also follows Christ as Lord. I pray your blessing on our audience that they will have that kind of discernment when they vote. In Jesus' name, amen. Take a short break and I'll have a word to conclude the show. We're here in Israel in literally the scene of all of the holy sites, like the Via Dolorosa, where Jesus carried his cross, the garden tomb where he was raised from the dead, the Sea of Galilee, where he taught the disciples. And I prayed, Lord, how can I bring this inspiring environment into your living room? And what we've produced is a four DVD disc set with the entire Gospel of Matthew. I teach every verse in all 28 chapters of Matthew in short 12 minute segments, so you can understand the exact words that Jesus taught from the exact location where Jesus lived. Pick up the phone right now and call us at 866-Obey-God 
Again, that's 866-O-B-E-Y-G-O-D. For a suggested donation of just $50, we'll give you all four discs, the entire Gospel of Matthew, or you can write to us at the address on your screen or visit our website, PrayInJesusName.org. You're gonna love this Bible teaching. Pick up the phone and call us today. How is your marriage doing? Ladies, would you like to learn how to get your husband to love you the way Christ loves the church? Men, would you like your wife to show proper respect? You know there's a Bible way to have a godly marriage? I'm not saying I'm the expert, but we interview in a four-part video teaching series a marriage and family ministry expert, Vince Dacchioli. And we go through the scriptures in four different parts. Part one is God's design for man and woman. Part two is godly roles for husband and wife. Three is sex and intimacy within godly marriage. And also God's plan for divorce. You want to have this important four-part video series available for a suggested donation of $30 if you call our toll-free prayer line at 866-Obey-God. Again, that's 866-O-B-E-Y-G-O-D. Or visit our website, PrayInJesusName.org. Do you need a physical or spiritual healing? Are you being tested or tried? When Jesus needed to pray, he went to the Garden of Gethsemane. Do you need to really connect with God? If you're visiting Colorado Springs, come see the Gateway Prayer Garden just south of the city along Interstate 25. Walk our prayer trails among the trees by the beautiful Fountain Creek. Stand at the foot of our large cross and connect with Jesus. Enter our life-size replica of the empty tomb and spend time reading key Bible verses etched in stone along our ground cross as big as a football field. Join our worship gatherings and plan to attend our annual Easter sunrise worship service. We're located off I-25, exit 132A at 8035 Bandley Road, just north of the KOA campground. Experience Jesus at gatewayprayergarden.org. That's gatewayprayergarden.org. Empowering you, the grassroots activist. Here is Dr. Chaps. Thank you for watching and please donate when you visit PrayInJesusName.org. We need your donations. This is a viewer sponsored and supported television program. We can't do this without you. Please today go to PrayInJesusName.org and give your best donation or join our recurring monthly pledge sponsors. There's a button on the right side. The Bible says in Psalm 112, a good man deals graciously and lends to other people. God will guide his affairs with discretion. You wanna get discretion? Start giving away your money to the poor. If you need prayer, call us at 866-Obey-God. We'll see you next time. Dr. Chaps needs your financial support to stay on the air. Would you please send your best financial donation today? Please visit PrayInJesusName.org to donate online. Or you can mail a check to Pray In Jesus Name Ministries, Post Office Box 77077, Colorado Springs, Colorado 80970. You can also call us toll free right now, 866-Obey-God. That's 866-O-B-E-Y-G-O-D. Please sign up for our free emails at PrayInJesusName.org. Again, that's PrayInJesusName.org.